Okay guys, sorry it's very very humid here in Bangkok Pretty bad weather, it's not always good weather in Bangkok And monsoon season It's been prolonged a little bit this year It was very humid, it was very tough to train today And I tried the, what I bought recently It's the SKLZ 15 pound training ball they call it uh, in different kind of ways. Dead ball, slash ball, whatever. It's a almost seven kilos rubber ball that is pretty much just like having a very heavy basketball. This was the maximum weight that I could uh, ship here to Thailand. So uh, I, I wanted something like 20 or 25 uh, pounds, but I couldn't, I couldn't ship it to here. And I have to be honest, I'm very, very happy with 15 pounds. Usually I use a single hand dumbbell of about 25 or 30 pounds. So I was afraid that 15 pounds was not enough. That was too light. But actually when I came home, I have to say that the seven kilos are very bad distributed. So it will be really, really hard to catch it just with your hands without actually grab, be able to grab anything. So it is seven kilos, 15 pounds, but it feels like it's 100 pounds. Believe me, it's really heavy. The impression on the hands is really, really heavy. So I'm very, very happy there was just 15 pounds. If you have to order one, be careful not to order one too heavy. Say that for Taiji, this is fantastic. There are lots of traditional Tai Chi Chuan trainings regarding uh, concrete or uh, um, stone ball. Okay, it's a small stone, smaller than this ball, and in stone, so it's pretty heavy, it will be about 20 kilos probably, or, or 15 kilos at least. And then you can perform different kind of sequences, different exercises, and some uh, heating exercises as well. So it, it's really, really um, diverse the kind of things that you can do with Tai Chi Chuan and with a heavy ball. Of course, this one is not in concrete, it's not in stone, it's not that bad. Uh, I can only imagine how it is to train with a real concrete ball. It would be really, really tough and hard to catch with your fingers. This one is fantastic. The texture on the ball it's really pleasant to touch it doesn't help you with much grip I have to be honest it's not that you feel that it's okay and doesn't slip it slip a lot especially because here is uh, wet the, the, the floor is wet but it doesn't it doesn't really feel that you can grab more than what you can if there was no texture nevertheless it's really pleasant to touch it's pleasant to touch it's pleasant to to roll it over your body it's 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 really cool the things that you can do are amazing amazing i i perform in this video some very basic exercises and two things so you have to use your internal core internal power in order to really train with tai chi chuan and the ball otherwise you will just exercise your muscle which will be really really hard actually because when i take the ball and I prolong the ball like this and I come back, if I don't use my internal core and my breathing techniques, it will be almost impossible to do or really, really heavy. So it's not done in this way. Uh, first thing that I like about training with a ball is that it's a real object. It's a real object. It will sound stupid for you right now but it's a real object. So when you train, you train with your internal power, but you never have the feeling of the real touch, unless you are with a sparring partner, with a training partner, then, then you can feel. But otherwise, if you're alone, especially now with COVID-19 and all of these problems, we are very often alone, unfortunately, and we are losing this contact we are losing this part, this essential part of the training. With a, with a ball, it's not the same as a person, but it's really heavy, it's really tough, I can hit it, the ball can bounce back, and this is the 
the best thing. I think that's the difference because the concrete ball, a ball made out of stone, it cannot bounce. But this one can bounce. So you can smash it on the ground, the ball come back with a power that you have to deal with that power. So I did some exercise for the torso, going back and forth, going left and right. When the, the ball come back, it's almost like a punch. And it's a very, it's a seven kilo rubber punch. It's really, really heavy. You really have to be concentrated and be careful that we not hit your face. Same as a punch, which is a pretty good training considering that you are completely alone. What else? This is of course really, really good for everything concerning grappling, wrestling, locks, uh, because you can rub it through your body, okay? Using your Tantian, you can manage to feel the power of the ball, the weight of the ball on your body, and then turn the body in order to make it roll over your body, which is possible when you have another person and you're performing twist show, but you cannot do it alone. You can perceive it that you are doing when you are alone, you can train, train for it, but you are not feeling the real thing. With this one, you can feel the real thing. It's pretty good. I love it. Thank you very much for watching.